Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on India's BJP hits back after Rahul Gandhi mocks PM Modi in US. Nepal's PM Dehel arrives in India to seek energy and new air route deals. And acute food insecurity in Pakistan likely to worsen, says UN report. And now for all the details, India's ruling BJP on Wednesday lashed out at Rahul Gandhi over his remarks in the United States, saying that the Congress leader does not back down from insulting the country on his foreign trips. Rahul Gandhi, who is on a 10-day visit to the U.S., in an address hit out at the BJP, alleging that it was misusing the country's agencies and threatening the people. He said the BJP government cannot discuss the real issues like unemployment, price rise and the spread of hatred, and that's why they have to do the scepter thing and the lying down referring to the Sengal row during the inauguration of the new parliament. BJP leader Anurag Thakur said that Rahul Gandhi wants to insult PM Modi as he could not digest the praises the Prime Minister has garnered during his recent three nation tour. Rahul Gandhi ji ki har videsh yatra Bharat ka apman karne mein kahi piche nahi rehti hai. Aur is baar ki prayojit ye videsh yatra bhi usi disha mein hai jahan wo apman to Pradhan Mantri Modi ji ka karna chahte hain. लेकिन अंत में देश का अपमान करने से नहीं हटते पूर्व में भी आप देखें वो भारत को एक राष्ट्र ही नहीं मानते वो तो राज्यों का संघ कहते हैं और भारत के बढ़ते कदमों पर भी प्रशंस खड़ा करते हैं अर्लियर दिस ईयर राहुल गांधी रिमार्क्स इन द यूके हैड आल्सो ड्रॉन द आयर ऑफ द रूलिंग पार्टी ही हैज ऑल्सो बीन एक्सपेल्ड फ्रॉम द पार्लियामेंट आफ्टर ही वॉज कॉन्विक्टेड ऑफ डिफेमेशन over the 2019 speech in which he had referred to thieves as having the surname Modi. Nepal's Prime Minister Pushp Kamal Dehel on Wednesday arrived in New Delhi as part of his four-day India tour. The visit by PM Dehel is part of tradition of new Nepali leaders making New Delhi their first foreign stop after resuming office, underlining the strong ties between the neighbours. Dehel will hold bilateral talks with his Indian counterpart Narendra Modi on Thursday and is likely to urge India for long-term deals on energy and new air routes for entry and exits in Nepal. India, the biggest economic and trade partner of Nepal, has invested billions of dollars in the Himalayan nation's infrastructure, including hydropower plants, as it looks to counter the influence by China among its smaller neighbours. Security forces in India's Jammu and Kashmir territory on Wednesday followed a major infiltration bid near the line of control in Punch district. The Indian Army in a statement said the troops detected suspicious movement along the India-Pakistan border, after which a cordon and search operation was launched. After an exchange of fire resulting in injury of one accused, the security officials arrested three narco-terrorists along with a large cache of arms and narcotics. Around 10 kg of IED was also recovered from them. India accuses Pakistan backs terrorists in their activities to spread unrest in the Kashmir Valley. However, Islamabad denies the charge. The United Nations in a report has warned that acute food insecurity in Pakistan is likely to further exacerbate in coming months if the economic and political crisis further worsens. The report states the deteriorating situation is due to the devastating impact of floods last year, which caused livestock losses and adversely affected food production and livelihood opportunities. It notes that Pakistan has to repay $77.5 billion substantial external debt by 2026. Analysts say growing political instability and lagging reforms have brought untold pressure on the poor passes in the form of unchecked inflation, making survival difficult. In Pakistan, there is also a war in Pakistan. And the political and political war is its own place. But there is also a war with this. There is also a war in Pakistan. There is also a war in Pakistan. There is also a war in Pakistan. 
ان سب چیزوں نے ملا جلا کر پاکستان کو ایک طرح سے تنہائی میں ڈال دیا ہے کیونکہ عام پاکستانی آٹے کے لیے لائنوں میں لگا ہوا ہے اسے آٹا نہیں مل رہا وہ اگر اپنے گھر میں جاتا ہے تو لائٹ نہیں ہوتی لوڈ شیڈنگ ہوتی ہے اور لوڈ شیڈنگ صرف گھروں میں نہیں ہے بلکہ اس کا اثر صنعتوں پہ بھی پڑ رہا ہے Crumbling infrastructure in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir has afflicted the lives of people in remote areas who are still suffering due to poor roads and lack of basic amenities. A report. Locals in remote areas of Kuna and Dara in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have blamed negligence by Pakistan government to construct roads and provide them basic amenities like water and healthcare facilities has made their lives miserable. They lament politicians make hollow promises to bring about development, but there have been no efforts over the years. The lack of road accessibility due to ignorance and corruption has particularly hit them. سکول کی معقول عمارتیں نہ ہونے کی وجہ سے سڑکیں نہ ہونے کی وجہ سے پانی کا معقول انتظام نہ ہونے کی وجہ سے ڈسپنسری نہ ہونے کی وجہ سے صحت کی سہولیات میسر نہ ہونے کی وجہ سے لوگ انتہائی اذیت کا شکار ہیں یہاں تو کم از کم یہ راستوں کا معاملہ آنا ہونا چاہیے جس سے کرائے کم ہوں گے لوگوں کی گاڑیوں کی بچت ہوگی ان کے ٹائر آئے روز جو ہے نا وہ بلاسٹ ہو جاتے ہیں برسٹ ہوتے ہیں سولنگ سے Locals across POK blame that over seven decades of Pakistan's illegal occupation has pushed the territory into the most neglected, backward and the poorest in the South Asia region. American climber Garrett Madison, who climbed the Mount Everest for the 13th time last week, has said that Nepal needs to do a better job of policing the world's highest mountain to save it from a growing garbage situation. Madison said he saw a lot more people on Everest this year compared to his first expedition in 2006 and that there was also less ice on the mountain due to melting glaciers. Authorities collected 13 tons of rubbish from Everest and the nearby Lhotse Peak this year mostly broken tents, food packages and empty oxygen bottles. It is mandatory for climbers to bring their waste down from the mountain and claim back a garbage deposit of $4,000 from the government. But monitoring camps is both difficult and ineffective. Camp 1, Camp 2, Camp 3, Camp 4. Um, <clears throat> camp, two, camp 2 is getting much better, um, but uh, the high camps are getting worse. We need to find a, a better way to uh, police the teams and the high camps to make sure that uh, they're bringing all of their uh, garbage down. Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama held a two-day session this week to deliver sermons especially to Tibetan school students in India's hill town of Dharamshala. Around 2,000 students attended the preaching session along with other devotees and Buddhist monks at the main Buddhist monastery in the town. These sermons were based on the three objects of refuge and the ceremony of generating of Bodhicitta. India hosts a large community of Tibetans, including the Dalai Lama, who fled from Lhasa in 1959 after an abortive uprising against the Chinese rule. He has since lived mostly in Dhamshala, where his supporters run a small government in exile and advocate Tibet's autonomy by peaceful means. It's very important for us because uh, uh, his son is just, uh, our lot and we very respect him. So how do you feel to be a part of this program? I feel very blessed and like I want to try. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.